Today we're going to see how well you know modern cartoons by playing you their theme songs. Oh, I'm going to do horrible. Okay, we're going to try this. I don't feel like that's not going to be that bad. I got a 12-year-old and a 10-year-old, and so we watch a lot of cartoons. I think I might be good to go. Birds. Animals. This is a jungle book? I don't know the name of it, but that does sound familiar. Oh, I know what that is. That's uh, Adventure Time. It's got the ukulele going on. I didn't realize how weird cartoon songs or like theme songs sound whenever you're not watching the actual visuals to go with it. That's a great show. Weird, but I love it. Do you know it? No, I have no clue what it is. I don't know, but it does sound familiar though. Me and Tarzan and the kids. Is it that Adventure Time one? I have no idea. Is it Adventure Time? Oh, I know it's Adventure Time. I've watched it with my kids and I've watched it by myself. This is a theme from Adventure Time. Is it really? <laughs> oh. Damn it! I, I really was gonna guess that. I know it's like an off the wall show. That's not an event, really? That crazy ass sh I could never get into it. I'm like, what is this? Okay, I've heard this before, I think. I don't know why this sounds familiar to me. Oh, that's Gravity Falls. Our favorite show of all time. Sounds more action-y. Gotta get my schoolwork done. I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna be a crime fighter. That sounds like some FBI cartoon or something. Okay. That's very weird. How about this name? Do you recognize it? No. I do not know it. I do know it. I just can't think of the actual name of it. Girl Crime Fighter. Is it Rick and Morty? Yes, it's Gravity Falls. This is the theme from Gravity Falls. Who? I don't think I've heard of that. I haven't even heard of that one. It was a boy and a girl, and I think it's like a camp. And then like crazy stuff ensues. They go on adventures. Probably in my top three of the most perfect animated shows that I've seen. Okay, this sounds like some empowering woman type of cartoon. I don't know why, but this song just annoys me. <laughs> Good magic school bus. And Steven! And Steven! <laughs> is it bad that I kind of like that song? Do you know this one? No. No. Steven Universe. This is from the animated series Steven Universe. Uh, you haven't seen it? I haven't heard of that at all. Even if you don't know this show, does this theme song remind you of anything in particular? No. It just reminded me of uh, an 80s like girl band song. All right, educate me. A lot of people and critics have said it sounds very similar to David Bowie's Space Oddity. Oh, yeah. It definitely did. Okay. I can see that. Interesting. I'm a huge Bowie fan. Anything that's like Bowie, all respect. Oh, that's a regular show. It's like a giant fart. It sounds science fiction-y. It sounds like techno or space music. Oh, this is Rick and Morty. I feel like I should be in like an underground like club. I mean, the music sounds cool. I don't hear no words. Do you know it? Nope. <laughs> is it a cartoon about a bunch of six, five blonde Germans in an underground club in Berlin? I'm gonna guess Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. I knew that one. It's a regular show. This is from Regular Show. I haven't even heard of it. No, it wasn't? Oh. oh, I know that show. That show was actually pretty funny. It is on my DVR always because one of my sons watches it. If I need to clear some space on the DVR, I always delete them. There's a hundred and four <gasps> days of summer. <sighs> I know this song. Oh, Phineas and Ferb. Generation is finding a good way to spend it. It's true. Building a rocket or Sounds kind of like Green Day. Sounds like a No Doubt song. Discovering something. Okay, it's cute. Hey, we're giving a monkey a shower. Cause Phineas and Ferb are good. Phineas and Ferb. All right, I think I can get this one. Is this Phineas and Ferb? This theme song, do you know it? I know it, but I don't know. God, this sucks. Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb, yeah. This is from Phineas and Ferb. Dang, I was trying to listen to this song, like I was trying to sing it with it. <laughs> Get it? My kids, they used to watch that a lot. Been watching that for a long time, too. It was one of those cartoons that I enjoyed as well. When the children were watching, I would sit down and take a break, too. Earth. 
definitely sounds like an anime kind of song. The elements. Only the Avatar. Uh, Airbender? After all four elements and bring balance to the world. It's not Captain Planet. Avatar, I knew this one! It's not Avatar The Last Airbender, which is the show that I watched. It's the newer one, the one that starts with a K sound. This one, do you know it? Avatar? Avatar. The Wind Walker, the Wind Airbender. I do know it, but I don't know the actual title. The Legend of Korra. A new one! This is from Nickelodeon's spin-off of Avatar, The Legend of Korra. Oh, son of a biscuit eater. Seriously? Korra, shit! Oh, I knew it. <laughs> this series has been praised for its portrayal of gender, race, and strong female characters, particularly its bisexual hero, Korra. Bisexual? Interesting. You should start teaching that to kids from a young age. I never understood why we need to shelter them for so long. Which is freaking awesome. I love that. More shows should be like Legend of Korra. Korra then hooks up and gets her lady, so that was awesome. And that I know about because I read about it all over the internets. Kind of rock and roll vibe to it. All right, this one's groovy. I gotta have like that just stink face. Scooby Dooby. <gasps> Our Scooby Doo. Is it Scooby Doo? Scooby Dooby. Oh, Scooby Doo. <laughs> That's Scooby Doo. So, do you know it? I just Scooby Doo Doo because of the song. Scooby Doo. It's obviously Scooby Doo. This is the theme song for the latest iteration of Scooby Doo called Be Cool Scooby Doo. <laughs> he always was, so why reiterate it? I've heard that. Scooby Doo was one of my all time favorites. It's a classic. I heard the new Scooby Doo's are pretty bad. Compared to the old ones, I loved the old ones. I used to like it back in the day. It's how I got my son to eat certain things, I would call his like chicken nuggets, Scooby snacks. Since the characters were introduced in 1969, there have been 12 different Scooby-Doo television series and over 15 movies. Naturally, the characters' looks have changed over time as well. Okay, please tell me Shaggy's still a stoner though. Here's what they look like now. Oh yeah, they're just going a little bit funkier with the art, but you can still tell who they all are. Family Guy meets Scooby-Doo. They don't look the same. They look more like computer lice. Oh hell no. I don't like how like Freddy looks. Was Fred in some form of an accident? Now he's paralyzed from the waist down. That leg to torso ratio is really off. Thanks for watching us try to prove that we're hip to modern cartoons on the React channel. Want more? Then subscribe. There are new shows every week. What are your favorite cartoons? Let us know in the comments below. Ruh, looks like I don't know my cartoons. Right? <laughs>